Can a forehand dominant player throw somewhat decent throwing only backhands? Today we are going to find out. We are at Caesars Ford on the back nine playing the blue tees. If you know me, I love forehands. It's probably my go-to shot, especially if I'm in competition or playing against somebody that I really want to beat. I rely heavily on the forehand. So today we're going to do a back nine video throwing strictly backhand. I cannot throw a forehand at all. We're going to start off with a star wraith. Very low winds today. Everything is in our favor today. Should be right in the center and a good start to our day. I've worked pretty hard on my backhands over the years to get it to where it's at now. It's kind of funny because if you see me playing locally just for fun, I throw a ton of backhands. In fact, I probably throw more backhands off the tee than I do forehands. But as soon as I start to try to be competitive, whether that be with a friend or a tournament, I rely so heavily on forehands, it's not even funny. It's like my backhand goes completely out the window and I just throw forehand. Come on, get some legs and go. A little shorter than I would have liked. Maybe I should have went mid. Probably could have juiced that one up a little bit more. Go. Ooh, good little putt to start the round off. A little tester putt for the first one is never good, but the fact it's in gives us a little bit more confidence, I guess. Hole two, 462 feet. Once again, another par four. We're gonna go with the ESP Zeus here on the right side and let it fade back into the fairway. <laughs> Get on edge. Oh, what a beautiful skip off the path. Maybe a little right side. Kind of went a little wider with that hyzer than I would have liked to. But as long as it's not OB, then I could really care less. This is kind of a point in the video where it's so dumb not to go forehand because it just opens up perfectly right there. But I'm not gonna for the sake of the challenge. Yes. Two for two, backhand only. Let's get it. Hole three is gonna be 234 feet. This is just a spray and pray for me. It's way off to the right side and you cannot see the basket from this tee location. I'm just gonna try and throw some sort of ante that rocks over to the right there and just kind of hope that it's good. Oh no. Well, we're not in the creek, but a horrible shot. I just did not get that on Annie. Turn it, Max. Here were those touchy shots that I could have just thrown forehand off the tee. This is where it's killing me. Gets me in a bad position where I should be able to get up and down with a backhand. Completely honest, I should be able to get up and down with a backhand, but it's just where my game lacks is right there. That's why we're out here today filming it and trying to fix it or help it at least. Oh! That's extremely awkward. Running it in and it doesn't even catch metal. First bogey on the shortest hole of the day. Honestly, I would not expect anything else coming from myself. I guess I was talking about bogey before we even put in the bogey putt. Hole four, par five, 858 feet. Couple of crush shots off the tee pad. As long as you're out there in the field, you're fine. Going with my beaten Halo Wraith. Oh, slipped a little bit, but that's fine. Off on that right side. It is incredibly buggy out here, and I completely forgot about that. Otherwise, I would have brought bug spray. Going with another Halo Wraith. This one's a little bit more stable. I'd like to be off on that left side. <clears throat> Get over there. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait. I can't forehand from there. The upshot is always a forehand for me. Man, things are just coming to me left and right right now. That just kind of went right over my head thinking about that shot. I would have done the same thing on that shot, but... This next one could be a little bit more trickier than I was picturing. I'm gonna try go with Leopard 3. Maybe a little bit higher on Annie. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh, if it holds it. No way. That was like the best shot I could have thrown there and it gets knocked down by that tree. This is the tree we hit and we would have been chilling if that got through there. <laughs> Shortest hole of the day, we bogey. Longest hole of the day, we par. Seems like it checks out. Hole five is kind of a boot because it's slightly uphill at 342 feet. You can't go too straight, but you don't want a hyzer too soon. We go with the star wraith, maybe on a little bit of hyzer and hope it pops up to flat. <laughs> oh, not high enough though. The basket is surrounded by three trees that give you kind of a low ceiling. So if you don't push far enough in there, you have trouble with the putt, especially long putts. I was hoping to say that I was gonna be wrong about the putt, but unfortunately I'm not. It's kind of what you get left with here. Yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to do? 
There we go. A couple of pars in a row. Need to get back on track. We're sitting currently at minus one. This is a good hold to get back on track though. Wide open field, downhill, and it's 300 feet exactly. I'm gonna try and go kind of dead at it with an ESP buzz. Oh, of course, you put it out wide. Come on, track back there, man. Ah, talk about going dead at it and you just pull it way right. Struggling pretty hardcore right now, as you can see. We're still in it though, we're still in it. There's still birdies out here we can get. Maybe we make a long putt here, you never know. Come on, right over it. You stay right there, I'll make this putt. But once again, another par. I mean, what can I say? I'm the par man. This whole backhand thing is really showing me why it's crucial to also have a forehand. Hole seven has to be a two shot hole. First shot off the tee pad has to get into the gap, which is about 300 feet away. Then you have another 200 or 300 feet up a hill. And if you make it up the hill, you have a putt for birdie. It's a difficult hole. Typically, I would go forehand into the gap, but this time I'm gonna try to go with my straightest disc, which is probably a leopard. So right at 300 feet, which should set us in that gap. No, 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 no. I'm not mad, just disappointed in myself. The disc golf gods must be watching over me today because they put me right on the edge. <sighs> Which is a perfect shot for the glitch. There is the basket we are playing to. Here is where the glitch landed as my second shot. Ideally, this is where your first shot lands, maybe a little back here where I'm sitting at now. <clears throat> Go. This is like, Torture. This is putting me through the ringer right now. Who would have thought it was gonna be this difficult for me? I guess I could have imagined that, but I was hoping that I'd be playing a little bit better than I am right now. Oh, air ball. <sighs> player two is always so much better than player one. <sighs> putting us right back to even. Started off with the first two birdies. It's went downhill after that. To be honest, those were probably the easiest holes we played. Hole eight, 567 feet. Going surge SS straight down the middle. Wow, weird wind down there, huh? <laughs> I hit the first tree that I could come across. Well, I guess besides this gap, but come on. Check this gap out. Dead straight alleyway I got here. I need this disc to move slightly to the right. Although if it goes dead straight and gets through the gap, I'll be happy with that too. Oh, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Actually, I'd probably put that in the category of great shots for me. If you guys are still sticking around, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'm sorry it's so hard for me to throw only backhands. This is crazy. Come on, hole 17. Come on, disc golf gods. Be with me when I putt this putt. Let's hear some chains. Yes! Thank you so much. That's all you have to do, guys. Pray to the disc golf gods. Your putts will go in. They'll find chains somehow. Last hole of the day, 720 feet. Got to clear this creek off the tee shot, which is semi-scary. Going leopard three. Oh, he laced it. Just because you lace the tee shot on this hole never means you have a good upshot from there, though. Not gonna lie. This was honestly a bomb from the tee pad, except you're literally left with nothing. Like... What is this? <laughs> Good skip. Basket is on top of that hill. I'm thinking Athena, backhand hyzer into the hillside. Maybe it rocks up there. <clears throat> no, too much hyzer. Get across at least, please, 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 please. Thank you. <sighs> yes. Wow, guys, this was very, very rough for me. End of the day, I think at minus two though, we were fighting our asses off out there. For me, this just shows me that if I didn't have a forehand, I'd probably suck at disc golf even more than I suck now. <laughs> Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.